Oh, hi there. I'm just out here farming some trees. If you would like to learn how to farm some trees really good too, this episode is for you. Let's go over all of them now. And we're actually gonna start out with the easiest, which is birch trees. So when it comes to birch trees, they are a great tree to farm early just for general wood needs because when you grow them, they always leave you room to walk underneath. And when they grow, they always grow in a way that you can reach the tops of the trees. So you don't have to pillar up or do anything. You can very simply just walk around and chop them down. Also, you get a pretty good return of saplings, meaning that when you chop down the tree, and the leaves start to decay and fall down, you will get a pretty good amount of sapling return to where you will have more saplings than what you started out with. And the leaves will decay over time if you chop down all of the wood associated with that particular tree or within a certain area. So uh, the game kind of does a look around. I'm not sure quite how big the box is that it checks, but basically it looks around to see if there's any other wood in the area, logs in the area. If there is, the leaves won't decay, but if, if there is not, then the leaves will. So like this tree right here, if I chop all that down, all of those leaves right there will fall. But if I were to have a extra log like up here in the top, we would end up with a, what, what a lot of Minecraft players like to call a UFO, which is a floating, a floating set of leaves with no tree down below it. Do not leave UFOs in your world. It's a bad thing to do. But yes, these guys, they're nice and easy to chop down and get lots of wood pretty quickly without having to do a whole lot extra. Let's go to our next tree type. Next is oak trees. Uh, they also will grow in a one wide format, meaning you just have to have one sapling. It'll grow up a one thick, tall block of trees. And then uh, mostly these are pretty easy to chop down too, a lot in the same way that the birch is, but there's a couple exceptions to that. First of all, some of them will grow with the leaves down close to the ground, so you're gonna have to chop your way through to get to it. Second of all, you will have some of these guys where actually the tree branches out and has a lot of wood buried around in it. These are a big pain in the butt to chop down because you have to kind of like go up here like this, right? And you can, you're not gonna be able to reach the top. So then you're gonna have to like take wood and pillar your way up and then maybe get stuck when you're doing that. And then you have to like go through and find all of the branches. Cause if you don't find all the branches, then you're gonna leave yourself one of those nasty little UFOs floating around in the sky. And we don't want to see that. Remember, no UFOs allowed. So this one, I, I think I got it all. Sometimes they're a lot more difficult than that. You might have to chop around just to see. Also, one good thing with the oak trees is you can get apples from them. They can fall naturally along with sticks in the saplings, or if you use a fortune hoe like this, you can insta mine it down, all the leaves, and then you'll get a fortune effect on the drops from those leaves. In this case, we would get more apples, we would get more sticks, we would get more saplings, and it gets the leaves out of our way quicker. And then also, in terms of leaves, oak trees are one of the more popular that people like to actually use the leaves for decorative purposes. So we could take a silk touch hoe like this and then chop down all the leaves from a tree. And now we have bushes or bushes to, to use towards uh, builds that we do and that sort of thing. And then we can, you know, we can chop down the tree portion first or last, that part doesn't really matter. But now we have a whole bunch of leaves that we can then place down to use. And once you actually silk touch a leaf to get it, it doesn't decay like they do when they started out attached to a tree. So like, first of all, I should probably just like fix this one because that looks kind of bad, right? But those leaves, when I chop down that tree right there, they're not going to decay. So I'll end up with some floating leaves there when I come back and that'll be a fun little surprise for me for another day. Uh, let's move on to the next tree type. And next we have acacia wood. Um, acacia wood, first of all, nice wood for building. This like gray color looks really good with a lot of like stone based builds. Um, but in terms of farming, a lot more of a pain in the butt because they grow in this like kind of like diagonalish like fashion and sometimes they can be a little hard to reach and get all of the wood like that guy right there can't reach him i can jump and get it because i have efficiency five i'm mining fast enough to be able to jump and knock it down um, but not a good one if you're farming just for the sake of getting wood um, but otherwise they kind of work similar to like birch trees. They do give a decent sapling return as do the oak trees. So you don't have to worry about 
like not getting enough sap saplings to replant, you will get more saplings out of these trees than what you use to plant them. And next, I wanna to come to a tree type that I forgot, and that is the new azalea tree. Now, in terms of the actual wood that you get from them, it's just oak wood. You don't get any kind of special wood from these, at least not yet, and I don't think they're gonna change that. But these guys have some special properties to them too. First of all, they actually grow in this slanted type pattern too, in a very wavy-like pattern, almost like they're being blown by the wind. So that's kind of a unique look to them. Sometimes they'll they'll end up a little bit more straight-ish. Sometimes they're like really crooked, like this right here is kind of crazy. Um, and then maybe the most important part about these is these leaves that you get. Um, you get the azalea leaves and the flowering azalea leaves. I believe that's what they're called. Flowered, flowered azalea leaves and azalea leaves. So um, those are very nice for decorative purposes. They do not change color based on the biome. And um, also you do get, if you use like a fortune pickaxe or you wait for, or fortune hoe, or you wait for these to like decay on their own, um, you'll get the uh, drops from the leaves too, which are the azalea bushes. These actually serve as the saplings for the trees, but they don't look like normal saplings. They are really cool looking. I do like them a lot. They're, they're one of my favorite blocks in the game now, but you will get those too. Great for decorative purposes. Also will grow you new azalea trees. Um, your sapling return on the azalea trees is decent. You will, since you only have to have one sapling to grow an extra one, uh, you will typically get the sapling from one of the leaves that falls, if not multiples, and you should be able to keep up with continuing to plant your azalea trees. Next on the list is the jungle tree. This can be grown in a single tree like this, or you could grow it in a two by two. I always suggest the two by two method because you're gonna get more wood that way if you're doing it just for the purpose of getting the wood. Now, these guys can grow extremely tall. They grow a lot of vines on them, which you can use silk touch or a, a set of shears to get the vines. And then um, when it comes to actually mining these guys down, they're not too bad. If you have Elytra and Rockets, I recommend that you just fly up to the very tip top and then you can chop your way down. When you have, oh, are we not reaching? Oh, that beacon doesn't reach all the way over here to the corner. I might have to adjust where it is slightly. Let's change trees for this example. Okay, beacon problems aside, if we come over here to this tree and we get in the middle, first of all, we have that insta mine, right? And when you're chopping down trees, it's if you're doing, especially these two by two trees, you're probably gonna wanna have insta mine, which means that you have efficiency five on your ax and you have a beacon for the haste two effect. This is a bedrock exclusive. Java edition players cannot insta mine trees. Um, so if you're trying this on Java, it's not gonna work, but as you can see, they, they just melt away. Now the one downside to this type of tree is it does have these little offshoots of branches that you have to be careful for because again, you can leave yourself some UFOs if you don't chop them down. This one only had one, that was not too bad. Some of the taller ones will have like two, three, four of those little offshoots. And, and that can really be a big pain in the butt when it comes to chopping these down quickly. So not quite the best tree to get a whole lot of wood from, but it overall, it does pretty good. Um, I have a couple of better ones though for you. Now, if we're being honest, this is the best tree in the game. It looks the best. It gives you the best wood in the game. Dark Oak is where it's at. First, when it comes to getting a whole lot of wood, especially if you can find a Dark Oak forest, this is this is awesome because all the trees are nice and close down to ground level um, You can just chop up maybe a couple blocks tall like this and easily reach the tops of even the tallest dark oak trees So you can get quite a bit of wood from just one of them They are always grown in this two by two fashion. You cannot grow a single dark oak sapling They're always going to be a two by two. They're actually the only tree that is like that in the game and the leaves do drop apples. They drop sticks and, and of course saplings like the other trees do. Now, when it comes to the saplings though, there is an issue with dark oak trees, which is they do not drop a good return on their saplings, meaning that it is highly possible that you won't get four or more saplings in return for one dark oak tree that you chop down. 
So this is where fortune can really come in handy because if I were to wait for this one to drop down, it's possible. I only get three dark oak saplings, in which case I would not be able to plant a new tree. Most of the time you'll get four, um, but if you use a fortune hoe or any other fortune tool for that matter, but a hoe is gonna mine this down the quickest. You can chop all these guys down pretty quickly and then you will get more than enough of a return. And then you will want to do this when you're farming. So if you're gonna farm, you know, a whole lot of these trees, you're gonna want to actually do that for a fair amount of them, just so you can get caught up on saplings. I got 13 from doing that. So that's a decent return. I can plant three trees for the co How did I drop that on the ground? You can plant three trees for the cost of what it costs to originally plant one. So that takes care of dark oak. We got one more tree and when it comes to getting wood, this one's the king. And that is the spruce tree. When it comes to just needing wood for crafting recipes and that sort of thing, this is your money maker right here is the spruce tree. Also classic go-to for medieval type builds and a lot more like rustic building because that spruce wood definitely has that old rustic look to it. Um, these are by far the fastest to chop down. When you grow them in a two by two fashion, like let's look at this guy right here. We have no spruce wood on us right now. And I wanna show you how quickly we can chop this down and how much wood we get. We'll actually just stay on camera for the whole thing here. Uh, what you wanna do is stand right here in the middle and just kind of like do little loops around and you will insta mine the whole tree down in absolutely no time. And I imagine with this size of a tree, we'll probably be about th or close to three stacks of wood and what's only gonna take us a few seconds to get. And there we go. We're already at the bottom. There could be some stuff like stuck up there. Uh, wood, I think I see a piece up there. But look, we got, okay, it wasn't three stacks. It was almost two full stacks of wood though. And what took us about, you know, 15, 20 seconds to chop down. But there's one more method you can use with both this tree as well as the um, jungle trees, which is the staircasing method. So if you don't have an Elytra to fly up to the top, what I recommend you do is you chop up in groups of three. So go up three, jump up, up three, jump up, and do this in a circular pattern until you get to the top of the tree. Once you get to the top, chop out the little top portion there, which is what I just did. Put yourself right in the middle, and then all you gotta do is just turn your mouse in a circular-like fashion, and you will, or your, your controller or whatever, and you'll work your way to the bottom. And that was nice, quick, and easy too. It does not take much more time than just starting from the top to begin with. Again, money maker right here. If you need a lot of wood for chests and hoppers and you know pistons and that sort of stuff, this is absolutely your way to go. Also, sapling return on spruce trees is magnificent. You will get a ton of saplings from one chopped down spruce tree, more than enough to keep up with production. Now that we've gone over how to do all the trees, we have a better and bigger job to do. We have a job to do that I thought was gonna be a really big job, but actually I, I, I kind of remembered some basic game mechanics that you guys would have been screaming at me for down in the comments section when it comes to us planting this moss. Let me go to sleep first. It's about to turn nighttime and stuff likes to spawn in there and I'll show you guys a little trick. Okay, now that we get rid of some of the intruders, did he die? I think he died. Are there any, any creepers in here? I think we're good. So at first I was thinking, you know, the plan was going to be that we were going to rip out the entire floor here and then place down moss blocks. And you guys may remember from last episode, I kind of said I was going to do that. Um, but I, I just kind of remember something that's a little important. I, I, I can just do this and this. <laughs> so, oh, oh. Um, why are you mad? Why, why is he mad? Is there a sheep in there? It, 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 uh, oh gosh, he's looking at me. Okay. Did he not like me bone mealing? Oh, I don't know what happened there, but it's fine. So I think what we'll do is we're going to actually, we're going to do a lot of this where, oh, I forgot you can punch that up kind of kind of easily. That, that's fine. We'll just put that down in there. But what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to go through and kind of bone meal spread this around. And 
if I get any flowers, I'll knock those up. I don't know if you get any flowers. I don't think these bushes look good in here and they'll actually grow into trees. So I don't want those. The grass, the carpets, I think we'll mostly keep. Maybe I'll thin it out a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep like spreading this out. It'll actually give me a more natural look than what I probably would have been able to do by hand um, because I can just kind of spread it and then like just make it go more or less in a direction that I want. So I think it's going to be the plan is we're going to do this. We're going to do it across the whole forest and the mossy floor vibe, I think will look really good because that's kind of like what happens in the forest, right? It gets kind of mossy down there because the sunlight doesn't touch it all the time. So that'll be good. And it also, it'll give us a good way to do some lighting too, because we can actually dig down underneath and place some lighting down. It's going to look awesome. This is the result of one area. And I think it looks really good. So I kind of just spread it out. I left all the carpets in that were there. Uh, we left some like green grassy parts because I feel like the patchiness kind of adds to it. We knocked out all of the too high uh, blades of grass because I thought that they, I don't know, they obscured the view a little too much. And then I severely thinned out like the grass. I try not to have like too much close to each other, like no big patches of it. So it just kind of looked blotchy and it, it just had a good like foresty overgrown vibe without like going too far with it. And I think we've got it to a pretty good spot, a good part. Um, also my beacons right here, I cover that over with carpet. And I think we're, oh, hello. Um, I think we're going to do this everywhere else too. Remember, I will have trees here, there. I, I might wait till I actually have enough saplings to plant trees in those locations to actually do it. And we will do that pretty soon here. Um, but yeah, it's time to go in and fill in the rest of the forest. And after a lot of placing of moss blocks and carpets and lighting and chopping trees down and replanting trees and getting saplings and all those things, the forest area minus this hole that I need to fill in. I was going to make a water hole and I changed my mind. The forest area is done. It just feels so, it feels so like. I don't know, immersive. Like, look at this huge spruce area. You know, look at us walking through the acacia forest here. Look at the jungle zone that we get into. And I, I even like, I even, even though I'll only chop down like the two by twos, like I actually took it a step further and put in some like single wide ones too, just to kind of fill in things a little bit more. And we get into the birch area up here. Did I forget to do this spot? No, I did it here too. Yeah. So we got birch here. I could probably fill in a couple of other spots here, but it all just turned out so good. And I am super happy with this area and it's still technically not even done yet. We have a little bit left to do because in the next episode, we're actually going to build some small little storage sheds in each area. I uh, need to figure out where that's going to be. I don't quite know yet, but we'll have them in there in each area. And then we will have some for some sort of like item transportation that'll go from those storage sheds to our uh, woodsman's house. It's going to be right here that we're going to set up and it's going to look really good too. I don't have a plan for it yet, but I'm sure something will come together. But overall, I love how this area turned out. It looks absolutely amazing. I really hope you guys think it does too. If you enjoyed this episode, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also drop me a comment down below and let me know how you are enjoying these more. This wasn't really a ability type episode. We're going to have another one of those come up next week, but how are you enjoying all of the building that we're doing within the world? Um, and then, and I thank you so much for stopping by again. I appreciate it. And I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.